So I got three boxes in yesterday, which I'm thinking are the solar panels. I'm supposed to be getting five panels all together. So it's a little bit uh, of a wonderment why I've got three boxes. And you can see that they also arrived kind of beat up compared to the first couple. They're just an awkward box, and I'm sure just people grabbing them probably is what caused the damage. I don't see any holes at all in the sides, which are my main concern. I'll set up the camera and we'll open one up and see what we got. It's kind of what I would expect when the box was in a box. So I'm short two. I'll wait and see if two more show up. Let me open one up. No, not only do we have a box within a box, but we have a box within a box within a box. There's one of them laid out on the ground. Got a, about a nine foot cord, which is going to work nicely. I also have a 10 foot extension XT60 cable coming, which will allow me to get all the way over to where the generator is. Plugs right in on the one end here very nicely. I want to be able to fold them up quickly if a storm is coming and yet have them secure enough where they're not going to blow around in the wind. These do come with like a kickstand where you can lean them up, set them on the ground and lean them up at a good angle. However, down here with as much wind as we get, it, they just blow over in no time at all. So I need something that they'll stand up to the wind a little bit, be fairly secured. Overall, I'm fairly impressed with the packaging and the way the item looks. However, like I said, I'm too short, so we'll see what kind of issues I run into when it comes to getting the last two panels. So here's the framework I built with one panel installed. Once I have all the, the rest of the panels here, then I'll have them all. I'll be able to install three of them today. And I've got hooks, so all of the leads will be sitting down underneath wood, so they'll be out of the sun. And then it'll all hook into that box right there. Here it is with the first three panels installed. You can see here, here's the adapter. But I've been told those two exposed leads are hot, so you don't want to touch those. But I'm just waiting for an extension cord to plug into here to run up to there to plug it into the back of the unit. It's almost 1.30 in the afternoon. I just got my extension cable for the solar array, so I'm going to plug it in. All three panels are in full sun right now but they're probably not going to be that way for very much longer. So. When I hooked it up to AC power, it just automatically came on and started charging. Let's see what happens when I hook up the solar for the first time. Starts charging up right away. So laying flat right there with all three panels. I'm getting about 260 watts, which is showing it would take 15 and a half hours to charge up at that rate. We'll see what my total increase in capacity is from 2% up to whatever by the time the sun goes all the way down. It's only going to be a couple of hours. The other factor is it's almost 100 degrees in the shade. Well it's been just over two and a half hours and the shade is starting to fall across the panels. Let's see what we got. So. Not too bad, almost 50% and under three hours. Eight o'clock in the morning and I've got one panel in full sunlight now. So I'm about to check and see if it automatically started charging or if there's something else I'm gonna have to do. And there you see it's charging. It's already come up a couple of points. My apologies for all of those videos with all that sunlight obscuring the screen so I've closed the curtain. What I was wanting to check now was a proper transfer when the bottom battery is full to the top one and you can see the top one is already charging right now. What this is going to show is exactly how much solar power is coming in at the peak of the day with three panels and then I'm also going to fire up the AC unit 
So you can see what that does as far as charge versus draw. So they're showing the bottom one at 100%. The top battery has already got 10%. It's charging at about 454 watts. So I'm getting just a little over 150 watts per panel that's out there right now at peak timing. So let's see what happens when I turn on the AC unit. So there you can see it's starting to draw at 63, kicking up. Still has 450 coming in. When these first start up, it draws the maximum amount of electricity to get it up and running and the compressor kicks on and everything. So I expect to see this number here jump up to 7, 800 somewhere in there. It's no longer charging, it's now discharging pulling about 700 watts. So this is exactly what I was hoping for. It's working exactly the way I thought it would. I want to end the day of this full Sunday with two full batteries. I want to pull as much power as I can throughout the day but still end up at night with a full battery. It's working pretty good. Got two more panels that are going to show up in a couple days. Once I have those hooked up then I'll show you my maximum input but so far I'm getting just over 150 watts per panel which I think is pretty good considering the, the type of layout I have. My last two panels just arrived and we can see why they put them in a box within a box because these are pretty well chewed up. Corners are open and this one is a little bit chunked up it's the better of the two, but I'm still relatively certain that it'll be all right. So I'm going to install them tomorrow morning, and then we'll see what we end up with. So there's what all five panels look like, set in a row. It's about 7.30 in the morning, and I've already got three of them in almost full sun. What I'm going to do is I found a clear plastic heavy duty tarp that I'll deploy off of the far end down there and when nasty weather's coming I'll just be able to unroll it, fasten it in place and that way I might even be able to still harvest a little bit of electricity even while it's in protective mode. Down here I don't anticipate having to use it very often but if you live somewhere where rain is more common and that might be the way to go. I'll do another video of that with part three of this series once I get the EcoFlow heater. Let's see what we have incoming now with just those three lit up. 7.30 in the morning. 122 watts incoming right now. I'll check it again when I get back from the gym when the sun is at full height in the sky. Okay, it's just a little bit after 11. And I just got home from the gym. You can see the sun is fully on all five panels now. So I'm about to go in and see what my incoming wattage is. The next couple of hours are going to be peak hours. So I'll keep checking my total wattage and see what kind of upper readings I get. Now I'm going to probably play around a little bit with elevating this end so I get a better angle towards the sun, but probably not much. My main concern here is wind. I thought about putting these at a little bit steeper angle, but then I would have had to build some kind of contraption, probably sink a couple of posts in like I did here with uh, this thing, this shaded area here. And I just decided that uh, it would be, I would start out with a flat, the advantage is I can quickly check them, keep them a little bit safer from the wind, and I can also easily clean them. If a bird poops on it or something like that, then I can just get out uh, some cleaning agent and give it a good cleaning. So let's go in and see what it reads, and then that'll give me an idea of exactly how much input I can expect with all five panels hooked up. Okay, so we're inside. Let's take a look. 
and we're seeing 626 watts incoming right now. I still have 4.7 hours to go to charge both batteries up. Yesterday I had 100% on this one and 50% on the top one here. I started with 23%. So today I started with just 6%. We'll see if I can achieve a full charge. Now I'm going to go out, dust those panels off, and see if that makes any difference. Okay, so I just knocked the dust off. Part of the reason I built it low and flat like that was so I could easily inspect them and easily maintenance them as need be. Let's check and see exactly what's coming in now, if it made any difference at all. 633, so I'm getting a little over 100 watts per panel incoming right now. And as I said, the next couple of hours will be prime time. So I'm gonna check this every half an hour and see what my top reading is. My EcoFlow Wave 2 just got here today. The box is in pretty good shape. This is going to be part three. So I'm going to get this hooked up over the next couple days and then do a final video testing this out, how it compares energy usage and cooling wise compared to the Medeas. So look for that. That'll be out soon. One final check, and I wanted to see if you can tell if the if you can hear the fan running or not. And I did want to point out one last thing. This unit has its own built-in light. It's kind of cool. So if your power does go out, you can light it. Now see, we're up a little bit higher already, 646. We're entering peak time, and I'll give you an update on what my top reading is in my next video which is the installation of that eco wave so look for that i'll see you soon thanks for watching i'm john at the whatever garage